Hey guys, Sam here from Canatac TV. So Walmart is doing a Black Friday deal now. It's been going on, they call it actually like a holiday deal. But this RPJ 133 projector, this is an RCA projector, is $99 right now on walmart.com. You can get it there. This has a Roku stick included, three HDMI ports, and it has Bluetooth. So it's a pretty attractive offer. I'm gonna go over with you today kind of exactly what you get, how it performs, and whether you may wanna pick this up for the holiday season, so stay tuned. All right guys, like I said, this is the RPJ-133. I actually reviewed another RCA projector that Walmart has, and they have a few. I had one that I reviewed on the channel a while ago, and uh, you know, it was a typical, I think that one was 480p, but it's one since it's Walmart, you know, a lot of people actually bought it, and it seemed like uh, people search for these, and this is definitely a good entry-level option that I think if you see this and this is your first time getting into a projector, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about kind of what you can do with this and what you can expect. I think that's the biggest thing. If you're gonna buy this projector, you're probably someone who doesn't know a whole lot about them, what you can do with them and kind of the setup. So I'm gonna kind of help you guys out with that a little bit today. So I've reviewed a lot of 720p projectors, which this one is, this is native 720p. I did a TikTok video on this. I did a YouTube short video on this, kind of just showing some quick stuff. So that'll be popping up up here for the YouTube short. Uh, so watch that if you want to see a quick overview of this, kind of what you get in it. But a lot of people are kind of knocking this because of the 720p. But honestly, native 720p is something that I've tested in a lot of other projectors. I think you'd be surprised at the actual quality that you can get out of, you know, native 720p projector. If you're doing a lot of text heavy applications and you're going to be using Word, things like that, if you're going to be on the internet and browsing a lot, that's one thing, you know, that you're definitely going to want 1080p or, you know, maybe even 4K for your usage. But for 720p, if you're gonna be doing a lot of streaming and watching media, you know, maybe you're just watching Netflix, especially for like cartoons and for kids and things like that, cartoons come through perfectly fine in 720p. And I think this would be a great option for that. So I'll show you some of the footage as we're going here. But like I said, personally, I'm someone that has a 4K TV, but I think the 720p projector quality isn't something that I have a problem with. I think, you know, if you're gonna watch this for movie nights and things like that, you can easily throw it up on a 100 inch screen, which is what I did, and that's kind of the footage you're seeing. That's a 100 inch diagonal screen. That's an elite screens, uh, fixed frame screen, but honestly, you can throw it up on the wall. I've done that before. And especially in this budget range, it's pretty easy to make your wall into a home theater. Now, if you want, there are some very cheap options for like screens. So say if you have like a colored wall or it's more of a yellow or something, if you want a more true color, you can get a white screen on Amazon for around like 25 bucks. And it's got the grommets on the side. So you can either put it on, like build a PVC frame for it. Uh, you can just nail it to a wall. You guys can figure it out. You can come up with the best way to do that. But I did a video as well. I'll have also pop up here. I reviewed one of those cheap screens because honestly, I had one of those up on my wall for a while. Uh, another great option is a Yardmaster 2, which is an elite screen screen. And uh, it's very easy because it's portable. It's got a strong metal frame and it folds up and the screen just snaps onto that frame. So that's one that if you want a more portable option, you wanna pay a little bit more, you can get a really good setup for like the yard and uh, maybe taken with you. And you know, this is a small portable projector that way you'd have a portable movie setup. But guys, without having this go too long, this has the options for three HDMI ports. So over on the side, there's a recessed area. That's where the Roku stick that is included goes. And right next to that HDMI for the Roku is a output for USB as well. So there's a cable I include, that's a short one that powers the Roku stick. So you don't have to worry about that. But you also have VGA, you've got two HDMI inputs on the other side. So if you wanna put another device on there, or if you wanna hook up a laptop, if you wanna hook up maybe a gaming system or something like that, then you can actually do some of that through here as well. There's also a headphone jack icon on here. So that is an audio out. So you can use an aux cable to hook up to another speaker or something like that, and you can actually get sound out that way. The other thing is though, this does have Bluetooth included. So in this price range, honestly, the most Amazon projectors, you're looking at hundred bucks, you know, you're gonna get 720p, but you're gonna get maybe two HDMI inputs. You're not gonna get a Roku stick included with it. And you're probably not gonna get Bluetooth. Some of them might start having that now, but the Bluetooth is honestly a pretty good deal in this price range as well. It's something that worked pretty easily actually. That's going through not the Roku menu, you gotta go into the main projector menu using either the touch controls that are on here or by using the actual RCA remote. 
but that was pretty easy to find. You just go into the settings. I'll do a little screenshot up here now. And you basically turn the Bluetooth on. And then what you need to do is I basically took a speaker and I put that speaker in the pairing mode. And while it was in the pairing mode, then it just automatically connected to the projector and it worked. I played a YouTube video and it was streaming Bluetooth through my speaker, so pretty cool. So guys, one of the other big things real quick is on the bottom, you have a quarter inch tripod thread. So you can use some type of mount if you wanted to say do a wall mount or something like that or ceiling mount maybe even with this. You could use a quarter inch type adapter where it's gonna be able to just screw into there. Otherwise, you can't put it on an actual tripod. Um, there are certain tripods where it has a little tray on the top and you can just sit this on top of that. So those are all options for setting this up. You do wanna get this as level as possible with these budget projectors. You, uh, you have a keystone correction for vertical keystone on the top here. So that's if you were shooting up at an angle, you're not gonna get a, a pure like rectangular picture on the wall. You're gonna have to use that keystone to kind of drop it down and dial in your picture. But the more you do that, you know, you might get some blurring around the edges and stuff. So I always tell people try to get it as low level as you can from the start. So whether you're, you know, putting it on a tripod or something like that, or maybe put a little shelf up on the wall and sit it back like that, that's gonna be your best option. Basically, if this is your first time having a projector as well, the way you control this screen size is just gonna be how far away you have it from the wall of your screen. So if it's closer, you're gonna have a smaller picture. If you bring it back, you can get a pretty big picture. So I had it probably about eight, eight and a half, nine feet away, I'd say, and that gave me about my 100 inch picture. So just keep that in mind too, setup wise. If you have it real close, or if you only have like five feet to work with, you're not gonna be getting close to 100 inches. Um, but you know, you can honestly probably get a pretty big picture. You're gonna lose a little bit of the brightness maybe if you go real far back because then it's gonna be more scattered and everything, but you can probably honestly get, you know, a 200 inch size picture if you really wanted to, if you were gonna like throw this on the side of a house or something like that. So my one concern with this was when I was using that Roku stick here and I was on my Amazon Prime trying to play some video, it was getting a little bit laggy at times with the video quality, you know, it was kind of getting a little bit pixelated. So not because of the actual resolution of the projector it was more the actual wireless connection so on my phone I had a decent signal I was basically like 60 feet down the hall here and my phone was picking up good connection so I think the probably the wireless chip that's like in this Roku uh, compared to you know like a phone that's a $500 phone say or more is probably just not the best so if you're gonna have this and you're gonna rely on that Roku stick I think if you're you know in an area where you have good Wi-Fi and you're basically near a router then you're going to be good to go if you're kind of going to be pushing it a little bit and you're a little further away and you're going wireless and you're using this roku stick then that might be a limitation i think if you hook up like your own like i have a roku premiere if you hook up that you're going to get better results probably so that's my one reservation with this projector honestly otherwise it's a great deal like i said if you're going to be using this like in an area where you have good service or it's right by your connection and a router or something like that and I wouldn't worry about it, but you could always hook up your own stuff too, honestly. I had a lot of people that told me they bought this already and they were gonna hook up a fire stick that they had or hook up something else. So all those HDMI connections on there allow you to do that. I think it's a pretty awesome deal, guys, for 99 bucks. I would say if this is maybe your first entry into the projector space, or if you're looking for like a Christmas gift for your kids or something like that, it's pretty cool. It's not gonna be 1080p or 4K, but you can game on it. You can have movie nights, you can stream, play Netflix, all that kind of stuff, slideshows. So I think it's pretty cool. I do like the Roku interface. Here guys on Canada Tech TV, I do projector reviews and I do them weekly here. So make sure you subscribe for more content like this. Definitely check out too. I've got a whole other playlist of budget projectors like this and this range went up to 1080p. So check it out. I'll put a link down there below to Walmart. Also put an Amazon link there too as well. So you can see maybe some reviews and some other stuff and info about it there. But the Amazon link's gonna be an affiliate link. The Walmart link will not be. I'm not sure how long Walmart's gonna have this deal going on for. I don't think this is a brand new projector that they've had, but I saw someone say that they bought one of these like last year or two. So I think it's a pretty good option. Check it out, guys. Thank you for watching with me here today and I'll see you on the next one.